My name's uh, Amar Stewart. I'm from uh, the United Kingdom, um, about an hour and a half north of London, and I'm an artist living in Brooklyn, New York. Art, it, it opened me up to this whole new uh, burst of uh, energy and uh, positivity. I wanted to um, create a piece that reflected my um, experiences uh, with cancer. I was diagnosed in 2016 with stage 4 squamous cell carcinoma. I've been painting for around 11 years now, working with different museums, um, but with oil, uh, probably for the past six, six years. I normally work with an image that I feel inspires me, whether it be a portrait of someone that I know or something specific like uh, a genre of music, uh, because music is a very important part of my process. And what I'll do is I'll spend a couple of days working with the image, trying to understand it, and try and become yeah, more familiar with it so that when I recreate it or interpret the piece on the canvas, I feel that it's a true representation of uh, what it is that I'm trying to put out there. I bit my hand and I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was just, you know, me being clumsy when I ate food. Uh, but I um, soon discovered that it was not getting better, it's becoming more painful, and, and there was, my jaw started hurting a lot in my ear, and I found myself, like, not eating as much. I lost a bit of weight. So I went to a number of doctors who said, there's nothing to worry about, but eventually I got referred to a specialist in Manhattan. They thought it was necessary to have a biopsy taken. And the following week, I had a pull back to uh, find out that I had a tumour measuring around two to three centimetres on my tongue. So the only way around that was to um, have a total vasectomy, which is the removal of the main flap of the tongue. They removed my lentil nose, removed the uh, 11 tooth, took the uh, muscles from my leg, which was then put into my mouth as like a replacement for the area that they removed. I think there was like, I think I've had like 59 staples in my leg, this far runs from like here to here. I had to have a, a tracheostomy fitted, which would help me breathe and um, prevent any sort of infection or fluid to get onto my chest. It was just several months of like, intense rehabilitation from learning how to walk, talk, jump, eat, whilst living with a tube in my stomach, which is where I had to have my food pumped in to keep me nourished and try and build up my calories because I dropped a lot of weight from having a month or no, six weeks of radiotherapy and chemotherapy. I first started painting and then after all of that experience in the spring of 2017 and I painted a series of works that reflected certain parts of my journey from diagnosis to surgery, rehabilitation and just getting back to life where you know, I was at that point. I did like several paintings based on those moments in time. Back then I was painting things that were filled with pain and and suffering, but this piece is where I'm at now. I met uh, Jacqueline through social media whilst looking for inspiration. This is before finding out that she too was going through some health issues and we instantly connected and became support for each other. I learned a lot from her and, and I definitely saw that her strength through her own experiences has helped me find myself again. And I wanted to share her story through the painting and let the world know how strong she is. <laughs>